Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest says there have been many great moves of God's Spirit in history, but we're ready to enter what he calls the new prophetic generation in which we are going to see the prophetic, the miracles, the dreams, the visions more accurate, making the other moves almost look like nothing compared to what is coming. And he knows who's going to receive this. He says, I agree with Joel. God is going to pour out his spirit on all oh, flesh, that's you! Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural. Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Now, Jeremiah, you are known as a very accurate Prophet. I mean, I've talked to people about you, and uh, that's how you find out if someone's accurate or not. But for those that don't know you, tell me a couple of prophecies you've uh, proclaimed in the past that have come to pass. Sure, I've prophesied uh, over nations, uh, leaders. Uh, one of the uh, prophecies that I've given recently was about Donald Trump and how Beautiful. he was a trumpet, that he'd become a, a, a Cyrus to the nation. nation. But I've also prophesied oh about God. Hillary Clinton. Um, you know, the night after Obama was reelected in 2012, I had a series of dreams where the Lord showed me that she would run for president and how she had an agenda um, to welcome the Islamic regime into America and God wanted to warn the church of her plans. And so for years, from 2012 all the way up to this past election, I did everything that I could to warn the church. Um, I've also had dreams, uh, prophetic dreams about presidents being overthrown. I remember in 2012, I had a dream about Mohammed Morsi of Egypt right. um, being overthrown. And I released that word, and within one year, he was overthrown. Uh, so lots of prophetic words uh, about nations, leaders, politics, uh, and those would just be a few. Well, I want to know some of the things you've been prophesying for the future, such as what's going to happen with China, with, with Russia, uh, with uh, Netanyahu in Israel. Yes. Uh, but you come from a believing family, and you should not be here. The devil tried to knock you out before you were born, but your mom had a prophecy about you or a dream. Tell me about it. Yeah, when I was in my mother's womb, uh, uh, the Lord came to her in a dream and told her to name me Jeremiah, that she would have a boy, uh, that there was prophetic destiny on my life, that I'd be a prophet to the nations, but that there would be great uh, complications that would mark the birth. And so I was actually born dead. Uh, the hmm. cord was wrapped around my neck, and there was a team that gathered there in the hospital and actually revived me. I was known as a miracle baby um, in the hospital, uh, just a profound moment uh, for my parents. Well, your father is a pastor. Um, how old were you when you started prophesying? Um, from public, I started prophesying at nine years old in my father's church, but I began to receive prophetic dreams about seven years old. Um, I would describe uh, my upbringing as uh, just such a blessing to have parents that saw the gift on my life and were willing to help foster and steward it. Um, it was so important to have that family dynamic. And so I was just allowed to exercise my gifts to get creative. I remember angels appearing to me and and another little girl, uh, people showing up to my father's church and saying, someone here has a prophecy for us. And they would say, it's that little boy over there. And so uh, I just kind of was used to, just from a young age, ministering prophetically. Tell me about this thing that is just burning on you 
and in you, this new prophetic yes. generation. You say it has to do with Joel chapter 2. Yes, my, my heart um, is just, my heart is burning to see a new prophetic generation uh, be released upon the earth. And um, I actually went on a 21-day fast. God had given me a burden and really a vision for the future of a generation that was coming. And so I went on a 21-day fast and wrote the book, I See a New Prophetic Generation. And the Lord began to show me, He really meant what He said, said that He was going to pour out His Spirit on all flesh. I mean, the business person, white, black, young and old, that we're going to see the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And when I, when I wrote the manuscript after those 21 days, it was like God had written it. I, I couldn't even believe that I had birthed this vision of what is coming. And I just, I'm so excited about the days ahead, and I'm just seeing outpourings of the Holy Spirit in nations. I'm even seeing an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in South America and England. I believe that there's going to be an end time revival that's going to hit England in the name of Jesus, and there's a new prophetic generation that God is calling forth in England for such a time as this. But you say, and I'm going to ask you a little later to clarify it, but we're going to see degrees of healings that, that the world has never seen before. Yes, yes. Is that what Jesus meant when he said, you will do the same works I have done and even greater? Is this new prophetic generation the greater? Absolutely. This, this is the generation that I believe is going to inherit all that God has promised. And I believe it's going to come, Sid, through intimate time with the Lord. God is calling this generation to the secret place so that we can make Jesus famous in the public place. You, you have prophesied that those that are watching now, if you're hungering and thirsting for more, you are going to be filled. Jeremiah says you're going to be upgraded. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence, and people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are. ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs, or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. I was afraid of the supernatural until I started watching your TV program and since doing your mentoring study guide and DVD. Now the fear has gone and I do believe I have received an impartation from God. SidRoth.org forward slash praise. We now return to it's supernatural. Jeremiah, you told me that God told you it's very important when you meet people to ask God questions about those people. But what if you're not such a, you know, you have a, the gift of prophet? Can just anyone do that? Absolutely. You know, said I've, I've always taught people that prophecy begins by loving people enough to ask God questions about them. And I believe that prophetic ministry begins with God filling our hearts with the love that He has for people. It's the Romans 5, 5. He pours out His love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. And so I believe that anyone that is willing to ask God to fill them with His love for people, it's out of love. I believe if you don't have love in your heart, you shouldn't be in prophetic ministry. I believe God wants to fill people's heart with love, and as He fills our hearts with love, just the ministry of, of the words of knowledge and the wisdom, it just comes naturally out of us. Now, you told me 
Uh, you don't believe in coincidences. You look at things as divine appointments. Clarify. I've had so many encounters where God is growing me up even in my walk with Him, where I just don't believe in coincidences anymore. For example, I oftentimes board planes and maybe my plane ticket is in 16B and when I get there it's 1A. And instead of wasting time saying, I wonder why I'm in 1A, I immediately begin praying saying, Lord, I know there's an appointment for someone in 1B. And so there's an acceleration that comes. Your, your faith is, is, it's knowing faith that whoever sits in that chair, you have something that's going to dramatically affect and change your life. Tell me about that airplane uh, pilot that you found sitting next to you. Yeah, I was going to a conference one year in Edmonton, Canada, and then happened to board a plane, and they actually shut the door, and I just fell asleep. And about five minutes later, the door opened up, and a man ran in onto the plane and sat right next to me. He was all sweating. But there were a lot of empty seats. Why did he sit next to you? Because I knew God sent him to me. And on that plane ride, the Lord God began to give me words of knowledge about this man's wife and how she was struggling with depression and how he was lonely. And I began to speak these things out 20,000 feet up in the air, and this man began to weep. He gave his life to Jesus Christ, and we prayed. We, we, we prayed right there on that airplane for the salvation of that man's wife, and he was baptized in the Holy Spirit while doing it. What about, tell me one time when you were upgraded and you knew whoever would sit next to you, it was a divine appointment. Tell me about one. There was one time when I boarded a plane and I actually sat uh, near the governor of Kansas. And I'd actually days before had a dream about the governor of Kansas. So it was one of those times where when he sat there and I sat there, I knew that I was about to be upgraded to a whole nother dimension in the spirit. And so I had an opportunity to minister to him and it was a powerful encounter. And these, these things I believe said are going to mark the new prophetic generation. This is, this is just not about prophets. This is about God pouring out his spirit on all flesh. This is about the mom of seven at the grocery store and the spirit of God falls upon her and she prophesies to the cashier. Uh, the Holy Spirit, he has no limitations and he's looking for a generation that wants to connect with him and make his voice known. However, this will be a different generation than we've had in recent years. This will be believers marked by character. Yes. Amplify. I believe that God is raising up a generation that's going to have character that matches anointing. I believe that we're going to see levels of power and glory resting upon men and women, but they're going to have healthy marriages. Their children are going to serve the Lord. I believe that God wants to find people in the earth who have character that can sustain powers of level and glory for a lifetime. And this is why I believe this generation is going to shake the earth like now ever before. You, you had a very hard word to go see someone that had hurt you very deeply, and you didn't want to see this person blessed, and you were coming there to bless them. Did you do what God said? I did. You know, I'm, I'm always growing in the prophetic. You know, one of the ways that God is teaching me is, you know, prof prophecy is not about giving away our opinions. And sometimes what we think God wants to communicate to people is not what he wants to communicate to people. And there was someone in my life that had hurt me, and God said, I want you to release my blessing over their life. And I said, oh, God, please don't make me do that. And he said, I'm upgrading you. Maybe some of us need an upgrade on getting God's heart for people, even if we don't have a heart for them. And that's why I go back to love. Love is so important. Before we begin to step out in faith and minister to people, we've got to ask God for his love. And as I prophesied blessing over this person that had hurt me, God reconciled our relationship as I humbled myself and he used me. You said there are people watching right now that God wants to upgrade. Yes. But did you get those two things, character 
and love. Yes. Mandatory. Pray right now, brief prayer for the upgrade of everyone that's watching or in the studio audience. God, I just release an upgrade of your character and nature. God, we ask, Lord, that you would impart your merciful, your nature, your kindness, your compassion. We thank you that you're a God of discipline because you love us. And God, we pray whatever areas we're lacking in our lives, would you pour out who you are into this generation. Let us reflect the beauty of Jesus in your name. Amen. Amen. Look, when we come back, I want to find out what Jeremiah, who should have died at birth, has to say about what's coming very soon to various nations. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Our world is rife with comparisons about what separates us. Day after day, we go about our lives with tunnel vision. But Scripture tells us how Messiah broke down the wall between Jew and Gentile, allowing for the creation of one new man, one new humanity. This spiritual completeness is set to usher in the greatest move toward God the world has ever known. Sid Roth has discovered Scripture's key to reaching the Jewish people with God's love. One new humanity opens the door for God to move in signs and wonders, and all will see the evidence of the invisible God promised in Scripture. At SidRoth.org, you'll find mentoring tools to empower you to share how one new humanity is critical to bringing multitudes to know God. You'll understand Israel and the Jewish roots of the church and how all the nations of the earth will experience blessings unseen in human history. Log on to SidRoth.org today and learn how one new man is the key to unlocking God's greatest blessings. Many viewers report testimonies of miracles, signs and wonders, and healings as a result of watching It's Supernatural! On It's Supernatural, Sid spoke some words of healing. My hip had been hurting and feeling like it was loose for some time. So I said, what about my hip, Lord? As I pointed to the area that was hurting, Sid said something like, oh, wait a minute, God just showed me he is healing someone's hip. My hip was instantly healed, praise God. I was heartbroken. I had lost my job, I was collecting unemployment. But Sid, as a result of watching your TV programs and going through your monthly mentoring DVDs, all I can do is rejoice. And God is beginning to reverse the curse over our finances. If you've been touched through watching It's Supernatural, share your testimony at SidRoth.org forward slash praise. ISN. The It's Supernatural online network is not just another Christian TV network. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. ISN lets me watch my favorite shows anytime I want. These exclusive programs are life-changing. Multitudes report getting healed and having their prayers answered. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. I am so fascinated about what God has shown you, the importance of people that don't want to be behind a microphone. Is there anyone watching or here that doesn't want to be behind a microphone? Let me warn you, I didn't want to be behind a <laughs> microphone. Anyway, tell me, I want you just to paint a picture for me of this new prophetic generation, what you see coming. Be as specific as the Holy Spirit will let you. I see the, the new prophetic generation one. They're going to have the character that matches anointing. I believe that God is raising up a generation who are going to know all of who God is, both from His goodness to His severity. They're not going to Now, wait a second. Many people teach when you move in prophecy, you only prophesy good things. I don't see that in the Bible, but uh, what do you think about that? Well, I, I, I see warnings as good things. I see True. them as a manifestation of His love. If I was going to go and walk out in front of a semi and got, get hit, I would appreciate you warning me, hey, don't do I'm that, sure Jeremiah. You <laughs> and so, and so I, I see God's warnings as His love for our lives. And so I see this new prophetic generation, they're full of the character and nature of God, and they love the secret place. I 
believe more than any other generation that's ever lived, the Father's delight in the love that He has for us, it's going to capture and it's going to captivate a generation. It's almost like we're not going to want to leave His presence to go out and minister, but we have to because it's so good. So, so I, I see this generation full of character. They love the secret place. And I believe more than anything, they love the body of Christ. I believe God is raising up a prophetic generation that are going to pray for their pastors and leaders, that are going to get connected in the local church and watch God move as they gather. Okay. What do you see for the future? Um, Netanyahu. Netanyahu, I have given several prophecies. I believe that Netanyahu has an incredible prophetic anointing upon his life. And God is going to use him as a front runner in the nations of the earth to expose the plans of the evil one. I also see Netanyahu and Trump becoming the best of friends and advisor to the United States. I see our relationship with Israel strengthening, said, I'm excited about okay, that. Okay, very briefly. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm doing is you, you can judge my body language. I'm applauding what he's saying, too. Uh, all right, real quick, because it's in the news all over the place, Russia. Russia. What do you see? I had a dream where the Lord told me that the eagle, Donald Trump, would walk with Putin, the bear, and they would walk together, and their relationship would cause the liberal media to go crazy. Meshuggah, we say here. Yes, and I, and I believe that their relationship is going to strengthen. They're going to create will, wealth. I believe Donald Trump is not going to be known for, for burning bridges, but actually for building bridges. And I really see destiny in Russia and the United States. And I have also seen, Sid, a revival coming to Russia. And I, I even, I want to prophesy right now an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the nation of Russia. God is going to raise up a next generation of prophetic people that are going to dream dreams and have visions and see an outpouring of the Holy Spirit like never before. Amen. Jeremiah, quickly. You said that God has shown you something that you're to release to those that are viewing and in the studio audience. Do that now. I want to release an increase of the prophetic spirit right now in the name of Jesus. So just lift up your hands. And God, we pray that you would open up the heavens and come down. God, would you pour out your spirit without measure? I hear God saying to a people without mixture, I will pour out my spirit without measure. And God, we're asking for a greater outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. God, we ask all across the earth for great wisdom and discernment for parents. Lord, from the time their child is born, even to where they go to school, God, we're asking for revelation and dreams. Lord, I pray for a new type of parenting to be released in the earth out of a spirit of revelation and dreaming and vision. Let parents become more involved in their children's lives like never before. Lord, I thank you for so many watching today who the serpent came and tried to take their life even at birth. And I just speak life into messengers all over the earth. What Satan meant for evil, God will use for his glory. And I call you forth in the name of Jesus out of caves of shame and guilt and condemnation. And I say, arise and shine. This is your greatest hour. Let the new prophetic generation rise. Let them rise in the government. Let them rise in the school system. Let them rise in the business sector. We say, God, come and pour out your spirit like never before in the name of Jesus. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network, is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence, and people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are.
ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs. Or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, James Maloney here. I want to share with you an experience that has taken me to greater heights in the supernatural than ever before. I've also received an acceleration in the impartation of spiritual gifts and miracles to God's glory and honor. Please join me right here on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth.